how it affects the employer or employee how to implement the same because Namaskaram, this is Seshadri, HR IR Safety Consultant, HR Corporate Trainer. Third May, one gazette has come. In that gazette, there is an increase in pension contribution percentage. This is the notification or a gazette we have received. Many people might have received through WhatsApp or social media. And this says the percentage of contribution towards pension fund has been increased from 8.33 to 9.49 percentage. What is that? How it affects the employer or employee? How to implement the same? Because it says it is effective from first September 2014. Not only that, it refers uh, Code of uh, Social Security 2020. From that, uh, the amendment is uh, coming. How it uh, uh, it should be implemented? Those things, let us understand. There is an increase to pension fund from 8.33% to 9.49%. How to implement? How to understand that GO? Let us understand now. Pension contribution increased from 8.33 to 9.49. Before understanding this increase, we should know what is the background. So, first thing, EPS 1995 scheme. In that EPS 1995 scheme, para 3 of 2, that only gives the information on this. What is that? Para 3 of 2, it gives 1.16% contribution towards pension fund is being paid by central government. So, central government is paying 1.16% towards every member, each and every member towards to pension fund 1.16%, but that is subject to the statutory limit. What is statutory limit? Earlier itself we have seen from the scheme introduction 16th November 1995 to uh, before 1st June 2001, it was 5000 is the ceiling statutory ceiling from 1st June 2001 to before 1st September 2014, it was 6,500. From 1st September 2014 till today, statutory limit is 15,000. So, up to that statutory limit to pension fund, who will pay? Central government will pay. As on today, there is no ambiguity. When the higher pension has been introduced, when the people are opting for higher pension, for those people, the people who are opting for higher pension, for them, the 1.16 person who will pay? There is a question. Supreme Court's judgment, 4th November 2022, uh, in paragraph 35, gives the detail on that. What paragraph 35 is saying, uh, Supreme Court judgment, 4th November 2022, 1.16 percent of access to the statutory ceiling to be paid. Who will pay? There is a question. 1.16 percent up to statutory limit, central government is paying. When you are opting for higher pension, for that amount, who will pay? For initially to set up, up to six months, employee should bear, that's what the judgment is saying. Now, in addition to that, in para 35, they have clarified, Supreme Court cannot mandate the central government to pay for that additional amount also. They cannot mandate because the creation of act is with the parliament. So, they cannot dictate the parliament, you pay for the balance amount also, they can't do. Up to, as per the statutory, up to one uh, statutory ceiling, 1.16%, central government will pay. So, there is an absence of legisl legislative provision. There is no act because the higher pension question was not raised. So, because of that, there was no question or no legislative provision is there to pay beyond the statutory limit, that percent, that is 1.16%. So, Supreme Court advised under para 35, you create the legislative provision for 1.16 percent. Till that time, uh, the, that employee can bear up to six months. In that, in that para 35, this is the word, exact word, 
it would be for the administrators to readjust the contribution pattern within the scope of the statute and one possible solution could be to raise the level of employer's contribution in the scheme. What it says, you can raise the employer's contribution in that scheme. At the same time, Act says equal contribution by employer and employee. That means they are, when they are raising uh, employer contribution, automatically employee contribution also will raise. That should not happen. That's why the 12 person will remain same. In that, no change. So 12 person will remain same. Only raise of contribution in pension fund. That means from 8.33, you can raise 9.49. That only this para 35 meaning. Let us understand further. This is the circular they have given. Earlier we have seen the PDF format also. In that, it is clearly defined. You can see here. And whereas, accordingly, to comply the said directions of the Honorable Supreme Court, that is 4th uh, November 2022, what Provident Fund and Miscellaneous Provision Act 1952 has been subsumed in the code on the Social Security 2020. So, it has been observed in the scheme. It is observed in Social Security scheme. That means when it is Social Security scheme, another amendment, nothing will come. Say automatically it will be implemented. The central government has decided to bring into force the relevant provision of the code. That's why now, therefore, in the exercise powers of conferred subsection so and so, the social, the code on social security 2020, 36 of 2020, the central government hereby notify the following. What it is notifying class one. In that class, in respect of the members who has exercised the joint option for the contribution under the Provisions of Para 11 of the Employees Pension Scheme 1993. That means whoever opting under Para 11 of 3, higher pension, if you are opted, for those people only, this increase is applicable. The thing is, it now uh, coming to the HR said, how you have to bifurcate it while preparing ECR, you have to keep uh, very much concentration. Those people who are opted for higher pension, for them, like this calculation, you have to make for pension fund as well as for others, usual 8.33, you have to make. That also clearly says that 9.49% of, uh, of the basic wage, DA and retaining allowance of each member by increasing 1.16% 1 1 from the existing 8.33. So, blindly, you cannot, uh, you should not apply 9.49% for the people who are opted for higher pension. That is a one other thing. 1.16% up to the statutory limit, central government only will pay. You need not to worry about those things. Excess of that uh, statutory limit, that for that only 1.16%, you have to calculate separately. Those things you have to include in the 8.33. Another class 2, they have clearly defined the increased contribution shall be applicable to the basic DA retaining allowance to the extent such basic wages DA and retaining exceed the 15,000 rupees per month. That is the statutory limits. Whatever the amount it is exceeding for that only. 1.16% should be calculated as well as the effective date is 1st September 2014. That means whoever opting higher pension for them from the date of, from 1st September 2014, employer share will be taken this 1.16% also. So how it is contribution is going, let us understand clearly now. So as on today, the present situation is like this. How? Now, employer is contributing 12% as well as employee contributing 12%. That is equal amount between the employer and employee. So, employee, whatever he contributes 12%, it goes directly to the PF fund. No ambiguity in that. Whatever employee contributes, whatever deducted in pay slip, it directly goes to the PF fund. Employer is contributing same amount. That amount as on today, it is divided into two only. That means 8.33 to pension subject to ceiling. And balance 3.67 go to PF account. The approximately, it is 15.67 percent. In case in a statutory more than uh, is basic, uh, the employee's basic is more than the statutory limit, then it will be more than that. That means how example one example we will take in our example. If you see how it is calculated as on today, the present. For example, one person's gross salary is 70, 70,000. You take basic is basic plus DA retaining allowance 35,000. Other allowance 35,000. If you it is there. How it is calculated as on today? It is 35,000 into 12%, 4,200 directly goes to the PF account. Employer share. Employer share is subject to the statutory limit. That is 1,250 only can be paid in pension. That is calculated. 
So, 4,200 employer equal share for, as the employee pays 4,200 minus 1,250 balance 2,000, uh, 2,950 goes to the PF account. So, pension account only 1,250 goes. This is the present scenario how the fund is going. Employer, the employee equal contribution. Employees go directly all the 12% to PF. Employers goes to 8.33 subject to the statutory stealing to the pension. Balance all the amount goes to the PF account. So put together in this uh, example, 7,150 goes to PF account. So what is the revision? Now, as per the circular 3rd May, that is GO 3rd May 2023, it will be bifurcated like this. How? As usual, employee share of 12% directly goes to the PF account. Employers 12%. This 12% is now divided into 3. How? Same. Now, this is applicable to only higher pension opted people. So, there is no statutory ceiling. That means, directly 8.33% to the pension account plus 1.16% excess of statutory limit. That means, we will see in our example. Well, more than whatever the amount uh, he is drawing for as PF wages, more than that statutory limit, that is more than 15,000 amount, for that 1.16% will be calculated. That amount also will go to pension account. Balance, you total amount minus these two, that balance amount only will go to the PF account. It is very clear, employee share directly goes to the PF account, employer share divided into three, First things, yeah, all the amount, total amount, 8.33% um, is calculated and credited into pension account. Excess of statutory limit also, 1.16% calculated and credited into pension account. The balance amount will go to PF account. We will see the example, then we easily we can understand. This is the example. Same example, 70,000 is the grass, 35,000 is the basic DA retaining elements. So, employee share as usual 35,000 into 12%, 4,200 directly goes to a PF account. Employer share 4,200. So, 4,200 into 8.33, that is 2,916, it goes to pension account. In 4,200, that is salary is 35,000. Excess of statutory limit uh, salary is 35,000 minus 15, that means 20,000. 20,000 into 1.16% 1 is 2,232 rupees. So, 35,000 is the way, basic PF wage minus statutory limit that is 15,000 is minus balance is 20,000. For that 20,000, 1.16% 1 is 2,232 rupees that goes to the pension account. So, pension account 8.33 is full wages. For full wages, 8.33 is 2,916 plus the excess of ceiling, whatever the wage come, for that 1.16%, that is 232, put together, 3,158 will go to pension account. For PF, balance amount, whatever balance is there, that is 4,200 minus 2,916 minus 232, that is balance is 1,052 only. So, 1,052 will go to PF account. Hope it is very clear, employees share directly all the 12% goes to PF account. Employer share divided into three. First is 8.33 of full PF wages calculated that credited into pension account. Excess of statutory limit on the PF wage. That is 35, in our example, 35,000 minus 15, 20,000 into 1.16% calculated in, and that also credited into pension account. All the things, total amount, 12%, that is total amount minus these two amount is going to PF account. So this is the circular that is the GO on 3rd May 2023, it has come. And this will be implemented only for the people who are opting for higher pension. Challenge with the uh, HR, what will be the challenge? How to create the ECR, those things will be challenged. Hopefully, they will update the software also. We have to internally develop for that also. Any software is required in case if you are using Excel. So, marking of those people who are opted for higher pension. When the higher pension is sanctioned, these things we have to keep in mind in accordingly we have to create ECR as well as the higher pensioner should think uh, clearly the PF amount whatever you are accumulated from that it is not going to take uh, only 8.33 in addition to that 
excess of ceiling amount whatever 1.16 percent also will be transferred from pf account to pension account so approximately 9.49 percent will be transferred from your pf account to pension account that is large amount of money is going to move to be moved from pf account to pension account hope this is very clear hopefully any clarity any further information required please contact me for your assistant thanks for watching please share this to all the statutory whoever dealing with pf uh, in your company so that they will understand clearly thank you very much thank you